What up, f and -ers? What up? I know it's been a while since we posted a video, but uh, yeah, you're not going to believe where we're at. But first, we got to <laughs> give a shout out. BNS Reptilia. Bomb! Bomb Projects. Fall Labs. Trevor, what up? Thanks for the shirt. And Morph Market slash Royal Genetic Royal Reptiles. Royal Genetic. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> So it looks like we're uh, I don't know ball, why I'm putting my ball glasses pints on Boulevard, right? Yeah, that's where we're at. Ball pipe. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Hello. What up? Oh, hey guys. That's where we're at. <laughs> What's up? It's Mike with Proxima Reptilia. Oh yeah. Reptilis. Actually, Sorry, Proxima Reptilis. Reptilis. <laughs> <You got it. laughs> I just got done shouting out BNS Reptilia, so Reptilia was still fresh in my mind. Come right, on, right. guys. All right. Super sweet. Jealous. Sorry, sorry, you already go got eggs. I'm seeing that already. Jealous. Oh, man. All right, yeah, let's, let's get into it. So, <laughs> I already got the nice incubator. Did you make this? Yeah, so this was $3.99. So, my wife oh, and yeah. I were looking on um, uh, Craigslist? Marketplace. Marketplace. And we actually found this. And it's actually an old wine fridge. Oh, okay. Thing. And so, you can see at the top here, we actually, um, they Gas used to be and stuff. That's where the, like, the refrigerator stuff and everything was oh, up here. Gotcha. So we pulled that out. Gotcha. And then my wife would like just tore out all the guts and then we went and did all that stuff. <laughs> and so I'll kind of show you inside. Cool. What's really nice about this thing is that's fancy looking. Like that. Yeah. Super cool. I was gonna say being a wine old wine fridge, it definitely makes it look fancy. Right. right. I like it. There you go. Oh, cool. And there we go. Very nice. Awesome. We got three clutches in there. They're right? looking good. Yeah. Some Wookie in there, some Ultra Male so stuff in there. Ooh. Okay. Yay. Fun. Yeah. This one right here is going to be a Wookie um, Mojave. And it's also going to be Pinstripe Clown. So they'll okay. be Heck Clown. But hopefully Visual Wookie, Pinstripe, and Mojave. This one over here, we're hoping to get some Visual Ultra Males, Heck Pides. Awesome. And this one over here, or oh, sorry, other way around. But this one right here is going to be the, they're actually Xanthic VPIs, Het Lavender Albino. So we should be able to actually get some Lavender Albino VPI visuals or snows. Okay. Awesome. And then also uh, the other ones will be um, a VPI with um, Het 66 Lavender Albino. Okay. It's fun stuff. Hell yeah. And I forgot the other half of Proxima <laughs> Reptilis <laughs> over here. Hi, <laughs> Melissa. Hi, Melissa. <laughs> So what else do you want to show us? You got, look at this place. Yeah, just give it once around. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> oh yeah, there's still racks over here. Right? <laughs> there's the door we came in. Cool poster. Incubator we just saw, and yeah, there's a lot to this place. Hell yeah. So we'll just keep going. Yes, let's keep going. We don't necessarily have to look at everything, but you know, whatever well, we you want to. I mean, well, I mean <laughs> let's start right back here. Where okay, you guys stand perfect. Here. Right here, these are all the females that have been bred, or as you can see, a lot of red clips because they've stopped eating, and there's some of them already doing their ovulation, pre ovulation. Awesome. Uh, the four females that are in the rack next to AJ over here, those ones actually are the females that laid a lot of these eggs. Oh, yeah. So, laid, laid, laid. Okay. They're already done, so they're super cool. They're done for the season and just eating like crazy and getting them back Sweet. up to weight. And all these females here were ones breeding. We have some ones that I think would be fun to kind of show off to you guys. Awesome. AJ's AJ's OCD is going nuts right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He gets he gets mad when I mix the dark and the light tubs on the same it. rack. Let's <laughs> <laughs> show off some fun ones we got here going on. Ooh. Yeah, this one's a beautiful one. She's Annie. Yeah. 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 Pastels and everything, right? I, yeah, I would have thought with pastel and desert ghost, it would have been more washed out than that. To yeah, be she, she's a beautiful girl. And we actually That's bred really her nice. over to our pastel desert ghost male. So hopefully, and I think for a lot of stuff, pastel is like near necessary. Definitely. Just a cool and you guys color. got uh, um, the uh, ultrasound and all that, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so right here, this is our yeah. little ultrasound okay. machine right here. So we use that bad boy for everything. There you go. Let's crack it out. So, there you go. Okay. What brand is this? So, Kayax. Yeah. So it's the it's the <laughs> one that's a little bit more pricey. Okay. There's some cheaper ones on Amazon, but with the warranty and the capabilities that this one came with, we decided that we wanted to go with it. And 
We have this nice little click, if you can see down there oh, on yeah. the floor. Oh, pedal. you got the foot pedal? Yeah, so nice. that was the other little fun thing for it. So. That makes it nice. Yeah, so went that route. And then, let's see here. Um, any other fun ones you guys want to see? For well, sure. We're, well, we sure. want to see everything sure. you're excited what about. What would you like to show them, sir? Which is probably everything. But. Right. <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, you don't buy stuff you're not excited about. <laughs> a couple of our future clutches that are coming is an Xanthic clutch. These guys are just going to be more Xanthic. So it's oh, yeah. Xanthic to Xanthic without any additional. The one thing that is going to be really unique great. about this one, though, is she was bred to our VPI Xanthic that's Het Lavender Albino. Ooh. So technically, they'll be 50% Het Lavender yeah. Albino. So awesome. if you wanted to shed test the ones we have the A's, right, you, know, right. you, might, you might get lucky. You Absolutely. Know. Yeah. Yep. The odds are in your favor. You'll see, right? right? <laughs> and then this is the Super Pastel Spider. Oh. She ooh. is getting ready to go into blue for her prelay shed. She's pretty. Yep. She yep. got like and a samurai, samurai war mask on. Yeah, and she, she's awesome. Yeah, we bred her beautiful. over to a Blackhead um, HRA. That's right. And then he's also um, Black Pastel. Okay. And oh, so yeah. we can actually kind of pull him over for you real quick. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of spin around over to this rack. Oh, and there's the dad. Man. And what was he again? So he's Blackhead, Black Pastel, HRA. Oh. So I know. I know. Someone's bells are going off for HRA. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the reason why we actually did that pairing is um, I don't know if you guys can see the board right over here, but a lot of people are really nervous about Spider. And you can see that on this board right here, you'll see that when you actually look at some of the ones that you're breeding to. For example, if you look up here, you'll see spider and blackhead actually reduces the wobble. And right, so, right. so a lot of people don't know that. And I think that's right, something right. that we should actually uh, spread out there so people get less scared of spider. Right. Because it can help with that. Right. Well, your spider actually looked like a pretty good example too. She was a uh, lot better looking than the spider we have right now. <laughs> yeah. We have, some of we have rocks, several some spiders some that don't, they have a little bit of a wobble, but you don't really see it unless they get really stressed. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, we open our tub and usually her head is like <laughs> this. <laughs> like. So we have another uh, spider. She is a bumblebee, but she's head ultra mouth. And Ooh, she oh, is she's in her, close to yes. She is in her prelay gotcha. shed. Gotcha. Yeah, and she was bred to He Man, which He is Man, an ultra I like it. <laughs> yep. Big girl. She is a big girl. Well, let's pull him down. There's He Man, and that's what she was bred to. So that nice. way we can get some spider pastel ultramarines. We're hoping for. Or killer, oh, yeah. killer bees. Killer bees. Yep. Very cool. Yep. And they'll all be ultramarines. Very nice. Awesome. So on this rack, as you can see, these are our 40s, and then we have our FB10s down there. But on this rack, I wanted to show some of so jealous. We need more FB10s. Yeah. Are kicking our ass. <laughs> right. <laughs> I think this is my, Ooh. I say I have a lot of favorites, and this is one of my favorites. Ooh. I named Ooh. her Ahsoka. I know a lot of people don't name their animals, but I do. And this one right here, oh, man. she is Orange Gorgeous. Dream, Asphalt, Gravel, Pet Clown. So, so excited, and she's actually been bred. So pavement then. So she's like pavement. She's asphalt in. Gravel. Yeah. So she's orange stream pavement. Man. That clown. Oh yeah. I got her actually. In, I got her in Daytona. She's just beautiful animal. Usually, ODs to me anyway seem to brown out when they get that big, and she is smoking. And that oh, yeah. belly's just so yeah. white, white, contrasty. Oh, yeah. Oh, so good. Beautiful Very nice, girl. man. Beautiful girl. Definitely beautiful girl. And then, I'm sorry, what, what did you say that you were breeding that to? Oh, yeah. So I bred her over to my pastel um, um, scarecrow. And like I said, I like to name my animals. So. <laughs> oh, we we named, we tried to name them all, and then it just started getting hard. And, and this is my little guy right oh, here. Oh, man. Man. Yeah. So this guy actually came from Best Dress Balls. So oh, nice. Troy. I got, shout out to Troy. Yeah, hey. shout out to Troy. I got this guy from Troy. Just beautiful animal. Man, you see. that thing still looks smoking, but I can imagine what it looked like as a hatchling. Oh, yeah. When, you, when it was a hatchling, oh, I my God. all those were, like, almost So red. it's probably yeah. coming through more, like, on the camera like it was for a hatch, the hatchling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, beautiful animal. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Troy makes some, I mean, awesome, awesome animals. Right, right. So, yeah, shout out to Definitely. Troy. This was a beautiful animal he hooked me up with. Set that little guy down. Very cool. Beautiful. All right, and then 
Let's see here. Another fun one that we'd like to get into. Oh, so uh, I'd like to show you some acid stuff. So okay. we, I'm really into acid. I know a lot of people are like, there's a lot oh, of rumors we're, out there. We're about, into acid too. Oh, yeah. just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, or, or, or confusion. You know. <laughs> acid confusion, whatever. But um, but with that said, a lot of people talk about um, they're picky eaters, and I, I I agree. I have one that is a little bit of a picky eater, but this female seems to not be that way at all. Yeah, I've heard that too, but we've got one that just murders everything. <laughs> I'm gonna jump over on the other side so I'm not fighting the glare from this window oh, okay. here. <laughs> There we go. Come here, honey. This is my Baroness. <laughs> and she is leopard, black pastel, acid. Man, Ooh, look at that belly. Man. Man. The zipper, zipper is just that is cool. beautiful. I love how acid and confusion just. Mm. Yeah. And you just can't go wrong with leopard. Leopard just, I don't know, just blends with so much so, so well. Right. Are what recessive or if any are you putting her into? She's actually hep pie. Oh, okay. So I'm I'm debating whether I want to do that, but I'm, I'm going back and forth. Where maybe when we get to this rack over here with the where I have some other animals in the FB tens, I'm actually thinking about maybe adding puzzle to this project. Ooh. There you go. So they'll be het, but I'll show you the puzzle guy. That'd be really cool. You know, jumpy today, aren't you? <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. So here's another one that we got actually in Daytona. And so we're actually getting into the rainbow project. She just hit rainbow, but Ooh, she has gorgeous. so many genetics. I actually had to pull a card off. She's visual. Visual. <laughs> That's a good thing. So this one, um, she's Enchi, um, Ghost, Hi. Disco, and then oh, Disco. Rainbow. Okay. So yeah, she's heard a lot of conversation about Disco lately. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's a powerhouse and she, she's getting up there. So we're hoping that, you know, this year, we're going to be breeding her over to another one that we have that's pretty much exactly the same genetics male that we got also when we were out in Daytona. Awesome. Uh, one other one that I always like to show off, and it's just because, um, as you can see, we have a lot. But um, she, she actually is the reason why I actually got into ball pythons. I got her when she was really little, and then it just, from there, just made me go, I love ball pythons, and it's, nice. it's what I want to do. And so I call her Nova. <clears throat> And I got her actually from Simon T. Hmm. Reptiles. So oh. I don't know if you guys are familiar with her Ooh. or him, I mean. But this is Nova right here. Beautiful. And so she is a powerhouse. She's black pastel, GHI. And then she's also het pied, het um, albino. And she also has Mojave. And that's okay. what, and you can see the Mojave's GHI, doing. GHI, Mojave, black pastel, het albino, het pied. Yep. Wow. Shoo. But she's the whole, I got her when she was really little, but she was the whole reason why I was like, ball pythons are it. So, <laughs> yeah, and she then, seems like a sweetheart. Oh, yeah, she's awesome. Beautiful. But, I mean, we've had uh, reptiles before her and stuff like that, but um, it was just that it just really took off with her. It was like, I saw her and I was like, yeah, I think I'm going to get into breeding and really take this to the next level. <laughs> No, no pun intended. Barely, those hides barely fit in. Oh, right. <laughs> I know how that goes. Yeah. Cool. And then um, another one that I'd like to show off here is um, if you guys are into the stranger stuff right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here's a stranger. He's red stripe, Ooh. stranger, leopard. He's All not right. hep for anything, but I actually bred him over to a couple of my females that are actually getting ready to go. I have a clown female that he was bred over to. And then I also have one that I can show you here in a little bit, which is, I'll just put this one for now. Um, I have one over here, which is spot nose, phantom, clown, hep hypo, and she actually came from um, <clears throat> uh, Matt. Oh, okay, so, creature breeder Matt? Creature breeder okay. Matt, so that came over from Matt. And we can show you actually over here, um, and Matt also has some awesome animals. So. Yeah, we've got a few in our rack for Matt as well. Yeah. I think it's a big shout out. Yep. That one came from Matt, so beautiful animal. Very nice. Man, that almost looks like an obby or something. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> she's huge. Yep, and gorgeous. And so she's been bred. Also, my other clown female has been bred, so we're going to do some fun stuff there. Very cool. And then I also have some other banana stuff that's going on, so I'll show you over here. So I have a, a clown female that I bred, and she got bred over to this guy. I actually got this one from, <clears throat> he's a he's clown. Uh, I always forget some, yeah. 
Clown Banana Mojave. That's the one I always get nice. dropped off is the Mojave part. That's what's helping the uh, That's dots. Agent Nice. The dots yeah, and this little guy, he came from Will Banks. Nice. So this is a Will Banks uh, produced animal. But Very yep, nice. I'm going to get some babies from him soon. So awesome. that's going to be a fun one. And then the one in the incubator that we were talking about earlier, which is the clown pinstripe. We actually bred that one over here that came from uh, Sloan's. Nice. And so that's a Wookiee Mojave. Oh, okay. Yeah, and so that came some, from Sloan's. And so a lot of us know who Sloan's are. And then they're actually Sloan what? reptiles or yeah. Sloan morphs? Sloan's reptiles. Okay. The one that uh, Troy and, uh, Nick that and are Nick, actually Nick. Yeah, yeah, hosting yeah. the All American Reptile. Yeah, big plant. shout out to that show that they're putting together here oh, in yeah, Denver. Can't yep. wait for that one. Yeah, that one's a big one. And I'm actually picking up my next level racks on Sunday at that show. Oh, nice. nice. So I'm gonna get those ready for for my shows when I actually start selling some of my. There you go. That's awesome. Oh yeah. Uh, I guess we can jump over here and show off some of some of the little hatchlings and stuff Ooh. like that. Ooh. Um, one that I'm actually pretty excited about that I just recently got from a show. That came from just Incredibles from Justin, and as you can see, that's a passed out puzzle. I almost said Krypton, but uh, yeah, okay, I can. Yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, it'd, pro it'd probably be helpful if I held them out so that we can see him and get him in the light. But you can see, look at all the. Yeah. I mean, just the puzzle part is just right. beautiful. Just can't get past that, huh, buddy? Yeah, and pastel and puzzle so good. Yeah. It's like one of those. Age very nice. There's so much that pastel just needs to be. And then another one that I got <coughs> from Chris Hernan. Uh oh. And Are you going to show us some scramblers? I'm going to show you some scrambler uh -oh. stuff. Can't resist the scrambler, yeah. some of my favorite stuff. Right here, look at this Hopefully guy. Hopefully Will's hella heat's listening. Whew. Man, that's crazy. Look at him, just gorgeous, right? Right. Yeah, he's he's loaded, loaded. Like so what, sugar, can, can you uh, or... talk about what's, like, what all is in there? Oh yeah, definitely. So with him, we got a yellow belly, scrambler, clown, um, high OD, which is just, you can see that pop yeah, right, right there. And then of course, um, which high OD, orange string, and then he's also hep clown. Yeah. So can you so believe no that? No calico? Actually, no calico. Which wow. he, we, it me really and Chris went back. For, yeah, me and Chris went back and forth, like saying, like, does he have calico or not? So Chris said there's a possibility he does have calico, oh, but but he, he didn't grow into it. Yeah, time. but he didn't want he didn't want to sell as calico right, right, at the time. Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah, the pattern looks a little bit. Chris has to make sure too. his is on point. So. Yeah, and Chris is a good guy. Just got some crazy animals Oof. from him. Um,